than I think anybody in America. When I say shredder, you probably think of the shredder you had back in 1993, which maybe used to drive you crazy. Shred would go everywhere, it'd get jammed all the time. If there was a staple in it, oh, I couldn't cope with it. That shredder that you and I had back in the early 90s was this type of shredder over here. It was called a strip cut shredder. And as you'll see, with the long pink pieces of paper, it did just that, it, uh, it cut it into strips. If you and I go to the store with around $120 in our pocket to buy a shredder, nine times out of 10 we'll walk away with this type of technology. This is a cross cut shredder and you can see it's better than that for sure, but it's not as good as this. This is a micro cut shredder. That's the most expensive form of shredding technology, but boy, does it deliver the best shred. Multi-cut action literally pulverizes that sensitive information, that important document, so nobody can retrieve it or piece it back together again. This is from Embassy. They make uh, one in three shredders in America today. They are, I have my Embassy shredder and I love it. It's a monster. It eats through anything. I wanna show you one last secret about the shredder because not only is it the best technology, it has a feature that we have waited a lifetime for and that is called auto shred. Normal shredders, the same as this of course as well, you get the piece of paper and you feed it through the front but you have to baby it. You have to keep standing there feeding it through. Uh-uh-uh. With this, you've got, ta-da, auto shred. I can place up to 100 sheets of paper in the back and it will start to shred all by itself. That's why we love, I put them in upside down. That's why we love auto shred. I can put 100 pieces of paper and walk away knowing that it's gonna get the job done. All right, now I've gone through my opening spiel. Uh, I can tell you this, they gave us very limited time because I have very limited numbers. Producer Jared, do you mind showing America how many of our shredders we have left. 787. So the other news is, is that we don't have shredders scheduled again until the end of May. So this is the last shredder presentation that we have scheduled from Embassy, which is our number one line. I have it available in white and I have it available in black. The new year, again, we're talking about new habits. Get into the habit of getting all the junk mail shredded, all the sensitive, sensitive information shredded because it's an easy, simple, better way to do things. Mr. Bill Duggan, AKA the Shredder King is here. <laughs> Everything I know I learned from you. Bill, Bill, you gotta have a shredder. You do, and Adam, your excitement about a shredder, it's infectious, because that's just it. For a lot of us, shredding's a chore. But Embassy has really made it so easy, they've even made it fashionable, giving us a choice of that black option or the white option you saw Adam on. And this has also been popular, because yes, it's the end of a year, we wanna say goodbye to it, we wanna start the new year off with a clean slate. So, we're gonna be able to shred all that stuff. You see the way they've designed this, these are all on casters, which is awesome. Nice, large peekaboo window, a three and a half gallon drawer that we can pull out and take that and throw it away. And as Adam said, this auto shred tray up at the top has really revolutionized how we shred. Because we've been able to share Embassy for a while now, mm. but with auto shredding, it's just, the game changers the fact that, you know, Adam, it's been fun this holiday season, yeah. but I have not been shredding, I have not been cleaning the office, so this stack has just grown and gotten out of control. <laughs> and you know, 30 pages, I don't wanna feed out 30 pages at a time, or but I can take that whole 100 pages, come over here to the back auto shredder, and just walk, set it up and walk away. Or more importantly, if I'm in the zone of cleaning up the office, yeah. I don't have to wait till all 100 are done. I can actually keep going. So I can actually, oh, found a receipt. I don't need this medical thing anymore. And talk about perfect time of year. Adam, 49% of all identity theft happens during tax season. That's right around the corner. I hate to be the Debbie Downer of a new year, but it's true. <laughs> we get that stuff sent to us in the mail. We're making copies off the computer. Yeah. We need to get rid of that stuff, and it's lying around, and we don't want to cut a corner, because Adam, think of it this way. One in seven of us fall victims to being an identity theft victim. I mean, there's seven of us in the studio right Somebody, now. Somebody, yeah. And we don't want that, to, actually, when we launched Embassy, it was one in 10. It's actually gotten more convenient and more prevalent because you think about it, the junk mail, it's pre-filled out. Oh my God. All that stuff is out it's there. It's dangerous. I just put staples in here. I put it in cattywampus. It doesn't matter. It keeps shredding in the back. And as you talked about, it's an evolution in shred too. You're not shredding with this 50 year old technology. No, no. It is a smaller, finer shred, which makes it unidentifiable and more protected. 
and that protection is why the Federal Trade Commission tells us we need to shred our documents. So we went to their webpage and they say right there in bold print, there are many steps that we can take to reduce the risk of being that identity theft victim. Yeah. For example, guard your social security number, we've heard that forever, but then they say it right there, shred. Shred charge receipts, shred credit applications, and other sensitive documents. That other, it's gonna be different for you. It's yeah. gonna be different for me. And it's boarding passes, yep. it's rewards cards, it's the stuff that you got in the mail for the holidays from greeting cards. Think of it this way, which by the way, this is shipping for free still, which is another reason why it's popular, because this comes fully assembled. It's plug and play. Recycle the cardboard, don't recycle that label. The barcode, they can get your information. The mailing address. Take that address that's on the cardboard, and look at this. Goes through corrugated cardboard. Yeah, yeah. It's a monster. Well, auto it's a total monster. I put in a clear bin real quick, just so you can see what it's gonna hold and how small that shred is. Bill, the news is mm -hmm. white, we have 48 left. Oh. 48 left in the white, the best seller is the black. So white's nearly gone, the best seller is the black. <laughs> Even if you don't buy this from us today, please always remember, if ever you're shopping for a shredder, um, insist on micro cut. They'll all try and sell you cross cut or strip cut and it's nowhere near as good. This is that new technology that is so much safer, better, more convenient. And remember, apart from just helping to secure our own identity in terms of identity theft or credit card theft or anything else, information theft, just the convenience of not filling up the trash as much. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when you think about it, when you do that and you throw that into, into um, the, the trash can like this, you know, look at the amount of space that that takes up versus shred it. And we've shredded hundreds of pieces of paper in there. And then you go through the other conversation, which is, you know, if you have something that has sensitive information on it, right, um, and you tear it up like that before you throw it in the trash, somebody can very easily put that four-piece jigsaw puzzle back together again. I mean, that's not difficult to do. So bear that in mind, a shredder makes things a lot better. It's a great habit to get into. White, I have 30 left before it's sold out. This is our last quantity till May. They wanted to do a weekly deal drop because a lot of us like to do these new things, get into better routines and habits for the new year. Bill, this shredder is not like the shredder that frustrated us right. from 20 years ago. And that's why a lot of us gave up on shredding, yep. or we would take the shred to the office because they had the better yes. shredder. Or, you know, we'd actually go to the big box stores and be like, shred my documents. We'd hold it all together. And the thing is, it feels so good to get rid of that stuff. We have to hold on to stuff, sure. Hold on to those paycheck stubs, hold on to those taxes, but then when it's time to get rid of it, it feels great. And this is what happens. I love how you said, get in the habit of shredding. Because it's true, the more you shred, the less likely it's gonna happen to you in terms of being an identity theft victim. Because the crazy part about identity theft, it doesn't, we don't know what's happened until it's too late. Right. Until we get a notification or until we try to refinance. Yep. And like, you don't qualify. And Adam, I love how you pointed that out. I'm gonna crumple this up. Because we've all done it. You know, it's, kids are asleep, I don't wanna do it right now, or it's just too much paperwork. I throw away that one piece, mm -mm. and you see how much space that oh takes up. Oh my gosh. And realize, it's still shredding. So I'm gonna go get the mail, because you know, I didn't get the mail all weekend. And I come back, I don't have to, it's continuing to shred. Doing it. So I don't have to babysit it. I could be putting the kids to sleep, walking the dog. Or what just happened to me is I came back from vacation, went through all the mail, I'm like, okay, keep that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And all of a sudden, all that mail that I didn't need, it was pre-filled out, the junk stuff, the credit card offers I, I again, don't need. I took those offers, I loaded it up in the auto tray, and I went back to starting the laundry. Back to life. We, that's just it. We all have better things to do to, than shred, than sit here and babysit and babysit. So just a quick reminder, it has a capacity in the back of 100 sheets. In the front slot, up to nine sheets at a time. So I'm, see, I'm, I'm double dipping over here. Yet I'm getting, I'm getting the results right in front of my eyes. People appreciate it. You saw 45 go in. Which one's number 45? <laughs> I remember that pink document, that one's gonna haunt me. And the thing is, it is the beginning of the year. Adam, we've done it before. We've started the year off with the Today Special yep. with Embassy Shredders. We didn't get to do it this year. This is the tail end of what we offered. I, I met with the team, yep. I'm like, so what's the new year gonna be like? And they're like, May. I'm like, excuse me? This is the time to update, refresh. Alice Carone, she literally would always say, when she did her taxes, she thought she had to buy a new one every year. Right. Cause it was, it would always jam, it would, it would get hot. By the way, we're also including a great care package, the largest care package we've ever included. 12 lubricant sheets, a bin liner if you'd like. So what's in these envelopes is the oils, instead of having to yep. drip it in, just take a sheet. It's funny, 
every show host here, I think, does have an embassy shredder because they all have a different story. Leslie Machado loves to use her lubricant sheets, yeah. like, monthly. I use mine maybe once a year. Right. And I've never just, used mine, Bill, just well, so you know. <laughs> and that's the thing. It doesn't really need it, but it's just that nice protection because, yes, we are going into tax season. I want to purge. I want to get my office cleaned up to start the year off. This has been approved to say it's for packing material because right. it's such a fine, small Good shred, idea. which we should remind everyone. If you are still shredding with something like this, it not only is able to be pieced back together, it is identifiable. A little bit of information on that one strip could be in the wrong hands, yeah. but what, look at how unrecognizable this is. And that's protection. So sure, use it as packing material. Save it up for next New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. if you'd like, or the holiday basket. Some people are even saying the Easter basket, because it is colorful and fun. But more importantly, you're protected. We all run that risk of being an identity theft victim. And again, that's why the government has warned us we need to shred our documents, because that's the first reason why a shredder is important. The other reason is the ease of it. No app, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi. It's plug it in and just start to load it up. It's, it's um, shredding therapy, if yes, some people said. Because you get that instant gratification. This document, I want to make sure it's gone and not in the wrong hands. Taxes from 2001 that I've been holding on to, it is gone. Gone now. Yep. No evidence left, Bill. Not, never happened. <laughs> I paid him, I swear. There's only 10 left if you want the white. So 10 left if you want the white. We, we have the black, which is the best seller. And this is the final presentation. With everyone placing their orders, there's about 400 left in total between the two colors. When you buy a new shredder, a good shredder, you'll only buy one shredder. Mm -hmm. You'll never need to buy another shredder. Remember the two features that this is micro cut, which is the best form of technology. And it has the auto shred. So you can put up to 100 sheets of paper Paper in the back and it will start to shred itself. You don't need to stand over this and manually feed in three, six, ten sheets at a time. You don't need to do that. You can stack them up, a hundred sheets, and it will shred it by itself. Let's get all the junk mail in there. Let's clear the clutter for the new year and let's make sure we get rid of any documents that have sensitive information on them. Uh, again, just screwing it up or ripping up is not good enough. You have to shred it. These shredders are the best out there, without any question. Mm -hmm. And because HSN has sold so many shredders, we typically get the best deals anywhere, which is why we're offering MicroCut with the free shipping, with the FlexPay, with a deal drop of $80 off. That clock is a really good guide. By the time the clock hits zero, we'll be down to, well, actually, probably none left. At the very most, I would say 100. The price will go up at midnight tonight if there are any left. But with this particular model, Bill, this is the best seller from Embassy. Right, and actually I remember when we launched this model, Adam was like, I have this shredder, you're gonna love it. And I'm like, Adam, does yours have the auto shred tray? And he's like, uh, no, <laughs> game changer. People have upgraded because of this auto shred feeder. I mean, we've gone through 80 pages and I didn't have to sit here and babysit it. Or, you know what I often did? I, I would take my stuff to the office because it was you know, a better shredder than I had. I now have a better shredder, a more protected shred. And I'm gonna be honest, Adam, a lot of us working from home, now it's about protecting the corporate stuff that you yeah. know I'm making copies of. I don't wanna be that weak link, so I have a shredder that can work. I have given these as gifts. I know we just got through the gift giving season, but my mom loves hers. I gave one actually to my dad's office because I went there once, made copies, and I'm like, oh, I gotta shred this. I turn around on written in permanent markers, like only three pages at a time. <laughs> they've learned anything more is gonna ruin their day because it's gonna jam. And one, a lot of people don't realize that there's even auto shred right. out there. No. Or they don't realize what micro cut can actually evolve to and develop because there's a reason why we've had to get away from this. This is not protection, micro cut is. And also, please notice, because it's a smaller shred, it's, it's more unidentifiable, which is great, but it also fills up this bin a lot less frequently. Yeah. And I love this footprint because it stands a little taller. So if you have a shredder where you're always having to really bend down and, and feed it, nope, yeah. it comes to you. Also, I have a small home office. I used to, when we were selling these during the pandemic, I would tell everyone at home, really small home office. I use this drawer actually as my waste bin. Sure. So I leave it open, throw stuff away. But when I need to shred, which is a daily occurrence, because it's the junk mail, it's, no joke, the um, holiday cards, loved them. But even on those addresses and envelopes, it's my address, my name, it's the return address of, of friends and family. So shred it, don't just throw it away. It feels amazing to go through that purge, get rid of last year. Actually, I don't mind, I'm gonna give you a few because you're oh, gonna, it you, feels sir. really good. So you notice, all 100 are gone. They have been pulverized. I can throw it away with peace of mind. And I leave mine on in the auto on position, turns itself off. So when I do come up with, oh, 
Goodbye 2022. It just automatically kicks on, performs like it's supposed to, and that's why all our embassies are mainly customer picks. Bill, they just told me the white has sold out. So okay. white is now completely gone. Thank you for your orders here. Um, we now have our final couple hundred left in the blacks. So if you want the black, grab it while you can. The value is amazing at $80 off. The uh, feeling of security and feeling less vulnerable is so important. Let's not be another statistic. Let's not, let's not leave ourselves vulnerable to what so many people do fall victim of every single day, yes. which is fraud, identity theft, people taking sensitive information. It's just not worth it. When you've got a shredder that can eat through as many sheets as this can, when you've got a shredder that doesn't jam at you or scream at you or yell at you, or you know the shredder used to get stuck and then you have to put it in oh. reverse and it comes out no more bill no more it's funny i was just going through my stuff i'm shredding personal notes that i was taking on a phone call shred it feels good goodbye 2022 start the new year off with a nice upgrade to any home any home office you'll appreciate it every day that you use it thank you so happy new year mr bill catch it. good to see you we love bill so and casual we tonight i'm very casual <laughs> very casual my new vibe in the new year i love yeah. that resolution just Let's throw on whatever it. i can find that's big it works uh, <laughs> thank you bill cheers um, uh, we oh yes I need to tell everybody about this. Mm. Have you seen this? Which one? This one. This this kitchen cart. Have you seen these? No, but I actually have that toaster oven. <laughs> you have this toaster yeah, oven? I do. <laughs> Look at you.